Hi guys, I'm Leslie. If you're new to our channel, we are the Doucettes and we live right here in Southwest Louisiana. We own a donut shop and we have some videos that we post about that, but we also own a resale business. And so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Not that long ago, I posted a video about the lighting setup that we use for our photos. I will link that down below in case you're interested in going to watch that to see if you could use that for your business. But today, we're going to be talking about really how to use that lighting better. We're going to show you the difference between not having the lights and then having the lights. I'll show you a little bit of tips about how to adjust your photos in your camera as you're taking the pictures. Then I'll show you how to edit once you're in eBay on the seller hub and you're posting to eBay. There's a way to edit your photos from there and I'll show you how to do that. Okay guys, what I'm going to show you now is pictures without any extra lighting, just the regular lights of the room. Okay, so there's one shoe and then let's get them both together. Okay, now I'm going to take pictures of the shirt that we have hanging there. Okay, so that's the shirt and the shoes without any extra lights. So there is a way to do it from your phone. As I'm looking at the shirt through my phone, if I tap the screen, there's a line on the bottom that's a plus or a minus. If you just drag that across, it can make that white background be even whiter. Okay, so that's the picture of the shirt with lights. So now I have lowered the lights and I've lowered the circle light and we're going to take pictures of the shoes with all the lighting on. Okay, so I'm going to do the trick on here that makes your background even brighter as you're taking the picture. Okay, so there's the picture that we're going to be taking of the shoe with the lights. But here's the trick where we tap on the picture and we go ahead and make that even brighter. Here's my phone and you can see the difference just in the photos from the phone. Just how dark it was and how much I made it lighter. Okay, so now we are going in our seller hub, going down to the photos that we already uploaded. So our first one that we chose, we're gonna go ahead and crop that photo because we don't want the shoe to look too small in the picture. We want to see it clearly. Fill up our whole screen with the shoe, so crop it. You see the tool, tool bar down below. And now go to brightness and we're gonna go increase the brightness There we go. And at the bottom you increase the contrast and you can see how that background really gets so much wider. Now we're going to sharpen up the image to bring the detail out. Increase that. That looks good. Save it. And now let's go to our next picture. Okay, again, we're going to crop it. You see it's the first one down there in the toolbar. Get all that shoe in that little square. There we go. Now we're going to increase the brightness. That's the one on the top. And increase the contrast. Look how much better that photo looks. And increase the sharpness to bring out the detail of the stitching and the laces. All right, that looks great. Now let's go to our shirt and let's see how we can edit that. There we go, and we're gonna, again, crop it, which is the first thing there in that toolbar. Okay, that looks about right. Okay, go to the brightness, the third one on the toolbar at the bottom. Increase the brightness and the contrast. And you can use your own judgment on what makes that shirt look the best, like it really does in real life. There we go, sharpness, make the shirt look even better. And there we go, that 
looks really good. Save that. Okay, and one more time on one more picture I have of the shirt. Let's go over the steps one more. It's quite easy, but let's go ahead and crop the picture. There we go. Increase the brightness and the contrast. And look how you can see the difference just immediately, just how much better you can see your item and how much whiter it makes the background. It looks so white. Okay, we have increased the sharpness. We're going to save this image because this looks great. Okay, let's see what it looks like. There we go. Looks great. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found some value in it. We got to see why you need lights to begin with because you got to see the difference. And what uh, we showed you today is just how important editing is. Lighting is so important, but editing is also. It really makes your pictures look better. And also remember when you are editing, make sure your pictures look the way they really are. Your items should look the way they really are. You don't want them to be too yellow or too blue or whatever. So uh, present your items the way they really look in real life. All right, so if you found some value in today's video, please press like on this video, thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and stay tuned because we make videos all the time. So we'll see you in the next video.